So I've got a video of this fire pit actually burning with wood in it, and I think you can see how nice it is to actually use, but I want to kind of give a tour of how I made it. Um, I actually don't know what kind of washing machine this originated out of. Of course, it's the tub that would be the actual washer tub. When I got it, it had uh, this base on it, and the base had uh, three little legs, so it's a three-legged base, which is nice. It works well for balancing it on the ground. But it had these three little legs on it that were attached. You can see kind of right where that, yeah, right where that base is right there. Um, and it stood nicely, but it wasn't very stable. You can see how centered those are inside of the um, basin. And so I just cut those off. And then, um, well, actually, before we did that, we started using it with those on. And it was fine, but it would, it would tip pretty easily, so it wasn't super safe. But you can see here, uh, I had to actually weld this because... Inside of this was like a nut that holds the, um, the actual tub on the base here, and I assume it would spin around that. But the first fire we had, we noticed a bunch of molten aluminum had flowed out of the center here, and it had melted because the fire got hot enough that there's like a, a series of nuts and probably even some like um, press washers in there that had melted and flowed out. And so this whole thing was, was loose on the center. So I just quickly um, cut a piece of angle iron there and uh, put it in to kind of stabilize it and then welded it. You could do a much better job of this. I think eventually I'll take the same thing and replicate it on the other side. It, there's a little bit of movement in it um, if I wiggle it. It's, it's solid and it's not going anywhere, but just because this is fairly thin material here, uh, it flexes a little bit. Um, and then <clears throat> on the base, we simply cut those legs off and that was that. Just cut them off and let it sit down in this wider triangular piece. And so now it has a much wider base. You can see the base actually sits out, you know, just beyond the edge here. And it's it's great. Um, so we've been using it for two years, and I wasn't sure what to do with this lip. Originally, I was going to cut it off or kind of hammer it over. So this isn't very elegant. I wish I had just left it as is, where it's not moved at all. When you when you hammer it over, the enamel actually splinters and it gets a little weird. Um, but you can see inside here, if I were to actually clean this out and take the ash out, the enamel, like, um, find a good spot for it. The enamel is in incredibly good shape. I mean, the, the enamel has not burnt off at all. Here's a spot where it's nice and smooth. So you can see, I mean, it's just the original enamel color, uh, enamel color and cover um, with just a little bit of ash on top of it. And it's that way throughout the whole thing. Um, down below, I think there's the enamel. Yes, yeah, so if you move the ash back, you can see it's just a really smooth um, enamel that stayed intact. And we've, of course, had really hot fires in here. So um, I'm trying to find a place to source these and actually make more of them. Um, I think taking it out of the washing machine is probably the hardest part. Um, just getting everything on the outside of it, you know, taken off and isolated down to just the parts that you need and then of course getting rid of any plastic or aluminum in this case um, but it looks kind of cool you know it's gotten this like sort of heat treated like almost a tempering on it that looks kind of cool um, you see the speckling from the enamel uh, and it's it's in good shape anywhere there's there's enamel on it where the enamel has come off it begins to rust but I suspect it'll last us for um, probably five years at least and even you know, even a like a cast iron one that we got from Menards has cracked, actually shattered with the heat, um, and then it got hit with something and broke. And so, uh, I'd say for for what it is and for how well it works, uh, it's it's a great idea if you can get a hold of one. I certainly think versus paying four hundred dollars for a solo stove or something like that, it's a pretty good option. So, if you have any questions. Let me know in the comments, and if I go to make another one, I'll document that entire process.